सो दिस वन इज डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट मेजरमेंट किट एंड इन दिस किट दिस वन इज द पावर ऑन ऑफ स्विच हियर टू डिफरेंट टर्मिनल पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव फॉर द कैपेसिटन्स एंड इन दिस किट एच सी वन एच सी टू एंड एच सी थ्री दीज थ्री आर स्टैंडर्ड कैपेसिटन्स एंड द वैल्यू इज ऑलरेडी गिवन द स्टैंडर्ड कैपेसिटन फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज फोर्टी नाइन पी को फेराड है एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ओनली फोर्टीन नाइन ऑफ फेराड है वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सैम्पल द फर्स्ट वन द नेम इज बैकेलाइट दिस वन इज द फर्स्ट डायलेक्ट्रिक मटीरियल द सेकेंड वन विच इज अ ग्लास मटीरियल यू कैन चेक दिस वन इज द ग्लास द थर्ड वन विच इज अ प्लाईवुड मटीरियल ऑल मटीरियल आर इंसुलेटर सो जस्ट फॉर योर नॉलेज डायलेक्ट्रिक मटीरियल्स आर इंसुलेटर मटीरियल एंड दिस आर माई कैपेसिटर प्लेट्स विच इज मेड फ्रॉम द ब्रास प्लेट फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड वन कैपेसिटन्स प्लेट ओके एंड आई हैव वन अनदर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सैम्पल द नेम ऑफ दिस सैम्पल इज पीजर टी एंड फॉर दिस सैम्पल आई हैव अ टू डिफरेंट स्मॉलर साइज ऑफ कैपेसिटन्स फॉर द पर्टिक्युलर पीजर टी ओके सो द एक्सपेरिमेंट टाइटल इज डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू डिटरमाइन द डायलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ गिवन डायलेक्ट्रिक सैम्पल एंड वी हैव अ फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सैम्पल बैकेलाइट ग्लास प्लाईवुड एंड पीजर्ड एंड आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन द ऑब्जर्वेशन इन द ऑब्जर्वेशन वी ऑलरेडी नो हाउ मच द रेडियस ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर ब्लास्ट प्लेट हाउ मच द थीकनेस ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर डायलेक्ट्रिक सैम्पल वी ऑलरेडी नो फॉर using the calculation okay so let's start with the bakelite material so i am arranging the bakelite material between these two plates and the main thing in this experiment is this one is switch if the switch is upward direction it is showing vhc voltage it is 0.85 so just i simply note it for the bakelite standard capacitance it is already set up hc1 and we got the vhc value is 0.85 so just note the value 0.85 and switch the switch in the downward direction so we got vdc value it is voltage across the dielectric cell it is 0.72 so just note down the value in the downward direction which is indicate vdc value 0.7 okay now capacitance with the dielectric we have a formula c is equal to vhc divided by vdc into standard capacitor standard capacitor we already know 49 picofarad and we already measured the value vhc and vdc i am just putting the value in the formula and after that use the calculator so we got 57.84 10 to power minus 12 so this one is the capacitance with dielectric material which dielectric material bakelite and the second one is capacitance without dielectric it means there is no material so r square divided by 36d r which is radius d which is thickness we already know both are observation so take the value from the observation and we got c0 value is 8.6 10 to power minus 12 so i am note down the value 6. Point, sorry 8.6 10 to power minus 12 and simply using these two value if i am doing c divided by c0 so i got the dielectric constant and the symbol is epsilon so i got 6.72 that is the dielectric constant for the bakelite it's so simple done now take the second one glass so simply i remove the sample i replace the sample the bakelite and the second one glass okay and let's see what happen so first of all we have to measure vhc and vdc value so just check the switch in the downward direction it means what here we got 0.72 it is vdc value okay and if i am switch in the upward direction what i got 
0.82 okay so 0.82 value which is v sc value so we have we got these two value so i am noting for the glass v hc value is 0.82 and v dc value how much i got i got 0.72 okay so use the same formula put all the value in the equation so i got 55.80 10 to power minus 12 c0 value it is same 8.6 10 to power minus 12 just divide it so i got 6.4 which is dielectric constant for glass now i am using the plate plywood and let's see what is the vhc and vdc value for the plywood plate okay so let's check the switch direction which is in upward direction you can check so 0.95 0.95 which is vhc and now i am switching so this one is the value for vdc how much it is 0.70 clear so it is in downward direction it is vdc value so just note down vhc value is 0.95 and vdc value i got 0.70 use the same formula i got 66.5 10 to power minus 12 and uh, it is 14.3 10 to power minus 12 so it is 5.75 that is dielectric constant for plywood now i just replace the small capacitor and i am switching the standard capacitor on hc2 for the smaller capacitor and in this smaller capacitors i am using the sample pzt the pzt is a very good dielectric sample because it has a very high dielectric constant let's check it so i already arrange for the pzt now the switch direction in downward so 2.15 which is vdc and i am switching in upward direction so i got how much yeah 1.32 so it is my vsc so i am noting vhc 1.32 and how much i got vdc 2.15 just remember for standard capacitor it is only 14 nanometer so use that so we got capacitance with the dielectric and capacitance without the dielectric using same formula so just divide it so i got 2267 oh it is the highest value and it is the value for pzt so i sum up my result i got the bakelite dielectric constant 6.72 for glass the dielectric constant is 6.4 for plywood the dielectric constant is 4.75 and for pzt i got 2267 this one is my last result and result of the dielectric constant of this material thank you thank you very much